YouTube, I'm Ayman, and you know, I've been on hiatus a while because, you know, I have school and my dad has some things to do, but today, my dream has finally come true. My dad has finally started to work on and build a cat house for, for a cat like this, and I'm hoping with, the, uh, with this too. Winter's coming very soon, so I don't want them getting too cold. So we're building a cat house, that's why. We usually keep our cats outside because my mom is allergic to cats. So we can't bring them inside for winter because my mom, of course, is allergic to cats. So that's why we want them to stay cozy in this cat house. Since it's our cats, we want to make this design as perfect as possible. So, me and my dad, we worked up some uh, designs on paper. Uh, they might be unrecognizable, because they're just drafts. But, there are some uh, constraints and criteria that we have to talk about. So first, uh, it has to be light, because we want to carry it around. And second, we're going to make the roof detachable, to also help the lightness and weight. Uh, and to help with that, we're using this plywood to keep it, <coughs> well, light. And for insulation, we're using the styrofoam. I cut that out. The actual fun part about all this, uh, this whole project is building, because I get to use power tools. You know men and boys, they like to use, like, strength and power. the sander and the, the saw, which I can't use because I'm a kid, but I get to use this oscillating multifunction power tool. I mean, it's safe for kids because it's not going to spin, it just uh, oscillates or vibrates, and that's how it cuts. Or, you can just use these normal hand tools, like this cutter. It doesn't move, so it's safe for kids. When you build a regular house where people live in, you basically start off with a box. And then you just add on frames. Whereas cat house, the side will be looking like this. These two uh, holes are windows, cause we'll have different rooms and these are the second floor. And since we, the cats enter by the first floor, they don't have an entrance on the second floor. They can't get out. So, basically, we're going to make a fire escape window. Because each room has to have a fire escape window. That's why we have two. You could easily just slide it in. But, but I'm not going to do that. And then we have this uh, back panel. Nothing special about it. And, uh, I think that's it. So, let's look at the dimensions, I guess. So, this whole thing is 4 by 2 by 2 feet. Well, to be exact, it's 45 inches, but you get the, you get the idea. And we use this idea and we split it in half to make these uh, planks. In our previous project, we used uh, pressure-treated wood or chemical-treated wood. But today, we're using uh, Douglas fir. And it's untreated, which is safe for the cats, because, you know, cats are going to live in here. You can't have these uh, chemicals damaging our cats. And it's also a bit cheaper. And with normal humans, w when you build a house, you've got to have insulation, right? All houses do. So for cats, we use the styrofoam. And we just basically pile it up. We just stack, stick it on there. And... I mean, that's basic, but we don't know what we're going to do for actual, actually heating the house, because uh, there's no way that this shit by itself can heat it. Uh, I mean, we can use molten aluminum or some cheap electric tool way, or a heated ba blanket. And we, I know that we're going to have uh, ceiling vents in the ceiling that goes up to the roof. When I'm, uh, when I'm talking about the ceiling fan, I'm saying about like a computer fan and to power
know. We can probably use like some old thing from a old computer or old desktop. And we can just hook it up and the power supply will become the heater and the, the fan, it will vent the heat out. So right now I'm gonna put this all back together. And uh, for now, I won't show you like every detail of on tape. I won't tape every detail, that's what I mean. Because it's fall and it's late fall. We have to work fast for the cats, you know. And by the way, this kind of building is called modular building, where you take pieces and then you you put them together to make some sort of big design. <laughs> you gotta get it exactly fit. Uh, nothing works as charming as a hammer, I mean. Uh, also, one note to uh, note I guess, is that symmetry is important. I mean, creativity is important for aesthetics, but, uh, I mean, the design for the back panel is the same as the floor. That makes it much more simpler. What I'm basically trying to say is that symmetry, it makes your job easier by helping you. So basically, when you're cutting the right panel and it's the same as the left panel, you just cut two sets of the same the same thing. And if the right panel is different than the left panel, then it makes your job a bit harder because they have different measurements. Oh my god, you don't want to get into all of that. It just makes your job simpler. Hi, I'm back. And I'm just done playing an earthworm with my friend Adam in the backyard. I bought these two Nerf guns from Walmart. No sponsor, of course. As you can see, the cat house that we've been working on for weeks is almost complete. Let me introduce you to the newest addition of our cat family. She's never been in one of our previous videos. My dad calls her Blue Eyes Moiza. It's his favorite. If you can see it, then she has blue eyes, of course. My dad seems to think she is Himalayan Persian uh, because her dad is Burmese and her mother is, of course, Irelia. She's not here. I can't find her. Cats like boxes. So we built the cat house with box rooms. Uh, you may have seen how we did this in the previous clips. And since it was getting dark out, we were rushing. So you can see the whole, we can't explain the whole thing, but now you can see. Then we added the roof, which is just big one big compartment where our two little cats, Bert and Junior and Blue Eyes and Lorenza, play. Look, we have stuff. We have two stuffed animals. We're gonna add more soon. As you can see, each room has its own window, which open only out in case of an emergency, like a fire. Then, the cats can go in through one door and come out the other. On the other side, the window is not complete, but on this side it is. You can see that it swings both in and out. And we're probably gonna put some uh, layer to prevent heat from getting out. Speaking of heat, we're planning to do something that allows heat into the house. We're going to take one of those aluminum tubes with the coiler on them, also called a duct, and we're going to hook it up to one of these windows, and we're going to run it uh, through a hole in the wall to the basement, and it's going to go to a heating duct. And when the heater turns on, the air will go in through the duct and into the cat house. So we have these doors right here so that we can open them and probably clean out these. I mean, we can also take off the roof, open the lid, and take out all the boxes and clean them separately. Or put carpet. But that's a bit harder, so we just install these doors for easier. All parts of these cat house 
is a module. The room, the rooms, and then we come to this, the sun room. First, let me put it back, and then we'll talk about it. Don't you think this sun room is beautiful? You have this blue roof that really reflects everything. But anyway, if you can see it, there is food container and water container in there. And the reason why my dad put that in there is because... Um, it's because... <laughs> Trying to get the last bit of that tuna. And he just gives up. Sorry about that. Uh, he just likes tuna, okay? As you can see, my dad put the food in here because there are raccoons. And when the food is outside, the raccoons will just eat it and take the cat's food. But, we can open these <coughs> doors that my dad installed so that we can take the container in and out. So that only the cats can get in. I mean, but the raccoons are smart. They can just poke their head in and like, put it in the middle and then eat it. But, it's more of a matter of protection for the cats not letting them eat the, I mean, the raccoon. Because when it's outside the food, the raccoons and the cats, they fight over and then, and then they get really bad, roughed up, pretty bad. And uh, it's, not, it's not that good. So my dad thinks that if he puts it here, then it's gonna prevent the On this side, it's the water. We just take it out and we fill it and put it back in, just like the food. So after this, we're going to make a lot more changes. First, we're going to add the carpet that Uncle Yus gave us. And then we're going to take this and, like, probably put it on the roof. And then, I'm going to put this down. We're going to uh, make steps for the attic on this side. Because right now, we're just using this as temporary. Because the cats can't just like jump over and like, yeah. Sorry, it's hurting. And then, it's a lot of things, okay. <laughs> then, we're going to make a deck here for the other side of the attic. And stairs going down. Because how do you get to the deck without stairs? And possibly stairs right here. Because the cats have to use this box and these two Lowe's buckets to get in. So, oh, it's a lot of work. But we'll, we're going to cover that in a part two video. And we're going to take apart this whole thing. And we're going to show you uh, how... If you want to build this cat house for yourself, or your cats, <laughs> then check out our part two video, which is coming out, I don't know, but it will come out. In the part two video, we're going to take apart the cat house, and we're going to put it back together, as if we're building it from scratch that you can see how it's built. My dad says it's pretty cheap because he just used uh, extra wood and some wood left over from Uncle Atar's deck. He, but the things he had to buy was the plywood and the plexiglass. The plexiglass was around $40, which isn't cheap, but the whole thing, yeah. The plywood was $13. And we got four pieces. See, my dad's cats, they like to fight. It's always been like a thing throughout the family. It's like been passed down. Burton and Irelia, sometimes they fight. You know, it's actually quite ironic. Sorry, kitty. Because, oh my god. <laughs> She's pregnant. It's kind of yeah but anyway it's kind of ironic because this cat house it was built to protect against cold and snow but look at me i'm wearing a t-shirt and it's december 27th and no there was no snow on christmas so i i bet a lot of kids were pretty disappointed 
but you know we built this it's probably gonna protect against next year's winter which is gonna come in like 365 days oh my god i can't wait that long but you know we built it for a good cause so i'm iman thanks for watching please like rate comment and subscribe and look at other videos on i and iman especially our next video which is going to be part two of the cat house but we don't know when it's going to come out so i'm iman thanks for watching bye